most of the highest performing schools in the Commonwealth are charter schools that serve students located in some of the state's lowest performing school districts. But today, despite all this positive progress, the difference in overall student achievement in underperforming school districts and the rest of the Commonwealth <coughs> remains too high, while some 37,000 children sit on waiting lists trying to get into the Commonwealth's very successful charter school network. As Rodolfo Aguilar, a parent with two children at the Brook Middle School in Mattapan said last week, his kids deserve the same education opportunity the kids get in wealthier communities. Our legislation seeks to address this concern. First, it would allow for a modest annual increase in the statewide charter cap focused only on those communities in the greatest need of high quality school options. In addition, this proposal would allow charters greater flexibility in their enrollment lotteries so that they can put preference around high need children including students with learning disabilities, English language learners, low-income students, and other at-risk populations. This bill would give more charter schools the opportunity to create new additional teaching models that can work to serve some of our most underserved students. We stand ready and available to work with you and with others to make sure that all kids here in the Commonwealth have the opportunity to receive the kind of elementary and secondary education that they can build a life and a future on. This is Massachusetts. We are the home of public education, and our charter schools for many kids have leveled the educational opportunity playing field for thousands of children. We should celebrate their success and build on it. Their kids, the kids deserve it, their parents deserve it, and I know working together, we can get this done during this legislative session.